no, no. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to remove a stuck outer race of a bearing whenever you have nothing to grab onto. So assuming that you can still find some of the, uh, the actual balls that go in the bearing, then I have a way that just might work for you if you have your inner race as well. So here's what I did and it worked. Okay, so what you have to do is once all of the balls have fallen out, you need to find at least four or five and you move the inner race, this part in case you didn't know, you move that completely to one side with all the balls out. You drop all the balls in the open side and then push it over just a little and try to move some of the balls around and space them out equally. Then once you have them spaced out equally, you can use some paper towel like I did. I have some good shop towels. And I just wedged them between those. Just like so. I use a screwdriver to press them in there real good. There's one somewhere down there. Oh, it must have fell out earlier, but let's face them out equally. I'm going to go ahead and put another one right in there. Get my little screwdriver. Handy dandy. Yeah, I know I should just buy a new washer because this one's pretty dirty, but I'm gonna clean it out. Okay, so you move those, make sure they're nice and tight. And get your little paper towel. And kind of just stuff it in there between the inner and outer race. Like I say, make sure that they're spaced out equally. There's another ball right there. And try to make contact with all sides of the races then you have your inner race in there and it feels nice and snug it might not work perfect but it's still better than not having anything at all so um, then you have an inner race to push on to get the bearing out which generally you shouldn't push on an inner race ever if you plan on reusing that bearing again you also run the chance of uh, of busting that inner race and then you have nothing else to push on. So you always want to be really, really careful. So basically now I can flip the washer over on its side and from the bottom side of the washer I can uh, use a piece of pipe or something to hammer on that inner race to help push the whole bearing out pretty much. So. Alright, so there it is. I got it out. So I also kind of broke it coming out, but it still held just enough to get the job done. So it's a lot better than any other way I've ever tried or any other way I know. I'll give it a shot, guys.